A bag contains six red, eight white, and nine blue marbles. Find the probability of picking three white marbles if each marble is returned to the bag before the next marble is picked. The first thing I want to do is I want to visualize this problem. So I'm going to draw a bag and I'm going to put in that bag six red, eight white, and nine blue marbles. My next step is to just consider a simple event, which is what would be the probability of selecting one white marble out of that bag? So I want to start simple first. What would be the probability of selecting one white marble out of that bag? Well, how do we do that? Well, we know we have a fraction, and in the numerator, we're going to um, put the number of possible white marbles there are, right? How many possible events are there that are white? And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight possible marbles as my numerator. In the denominator, we now put the total possible elements in that sample space. Or in other words, the total possible numbers or marbles, <laughs> the total number of marbles in that bag. Getting a little tongue-tied there. So how many marbles do we have in the bag? Well, we have eight white, right? And we have nine blue. And we have six red. And if we add up eight plus nine plus six, that should give us a total of 23 marbles that are in this bag. And so 23 becomes my denominator. This means the probability of selecting one white marble out of that bag is eight over 23. But the question doesn't ask us to just pick one white marble. It says, find the probability of picking three white marbles. Now, here's the, here's the important part. It says, if each marble is returned to the bag before the next marble is picked. Let's take a look at this. This is more of a compound event. This is one thing happening, and then another thing happening, and then another thing happening. Each time, though, we have some independent events going on. That is, first thing is, we're looking for the probability of picking a white marble the first time. And then we put the marble back in and we're looking for the probability of getting a, a white marble the second time and a probability of getting a white marble the third time. And we have this multiplication principle that tells us if we're going to do a sequence of three things in a row, okay, we can multiply those probabilities together to get the entire probability. So the probability of picking three white marbles will be the probability of selecting white, times the probability of selecting white, times the probability of selecting white. Now, each time the marble is returned to the bag, which sets us up to the exact same scenario we start with, right? So the probability of getting a white marble the first time, we said was 8 out of 23. But once we return that marble back into the bag, we're back to the start square one, right? And so the probability of getting white on the second turn is also 8 out of 23. And then finally, the probability of getting white on the third turn, well, that's also 8 out of 23 because each time we put the marble back in the bag, so we're starting fresh all over again. To get the final probability, what do we have to do? We have to use some multiplication. So we're going to multiply 8 times 8 times 8 in the numerator. And so I'm going to pull out my calculator to do that. When I take 8 times 8 times 8, I get 512. And in the denominator, I'm going to take 23 times 23 times 23, or if we like 23 to the third power, and that's going to give me 12,167. That is the probability of selecting three white marbles if each marble is returned is 512 divided by 12,167. If asked to convert to decimal, we simply divide 512 divided by 12,167 and that gives us a decimal of 0.04200. 0.08, or approximately 0 0.04208.
I hope this makes sense. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.